Hi guys. Okay, so I wanted to do this video because um, it's less than a week and I'm going to have surgery. And that is nuts to think about. Um, I just wanted to do this video as kind of like a before and then once I have the surgery I'd like to do my healing process. I know some people are thinking about having the surgery, um, the skin removal surgery, and are losing weight. And I'd like to keep a history of this so I don't fall back into old habits. Um, a little of my history, if you don't know, I've lost 200 pounds over the last four years with Weight Watchers and exercise, obviously. Um, I am having a, an abdominal plasty on the 21st, as well as a breath, breast lift and implant because there's no boobs left. Um, so... I'm pretty excited, getting very nervous, but I trust my doctor, so we'll see. Um, I kind of, my background as far as gaining so much weight, when I was a kid, um, early teens, my mother's mental illness kind of took over her life and mine as well, so dealing with kind of being a, a mother almost at an early age, I figured out that food was very comforting. And even now, I still, when I have stress, um, for instance, my boss just let us know that the company I work for is closing its doors. So when I go out for surgery, it'll be closed before I could ever come back. So my first instinct is to eat because comfort yourself, girl. But I know that that just got me to 380 pounds almost. So I'm fighting that urge, you know, that doesn't just go away overnight. It doesn't go away over four years either. However, my own instincts would just be to do it. Um, I did indulge last night. I also was part of that lovely hack. So my bank account um, was, they attempted to access my bank account. Luckily, Huntington hooked it up and, and stopped it, but that does stress me out, you know, given that I don't have any more paychecks coming in. It's a little stressful, but there's nothing you can do but just keep moving forward, so that's what I'm doing. Um, I started Weight Watchers in 2013, in October, so it's almost four years coming up, and I before I joined... I met my husband, who's lovely, and kind of inspired me to want to live life rather than eat to live, which is the only thing I was doing before. And I decided, well, okay, he's English. That means you're going to be either moving to England or definitely at least traveling there to visit family. You can't expect him just to move here and keep you a big secret, literally a big secret. So I decided okay, enough's enough, your feet are swelling, you have Professor Clump feet is what I call them, so I decided I was going to have gastric bypass. I was out of options. And one of my friends, Carolyn, actually had been doing Weight Watchers for a little, had some success, so she told me to try it. So I joined Weight Watchers, just fully expecting it not to work, and then I can say, you know what, you've tried everything else, girl, go ahead and get your surgery. And it actually worked. It started working right away. Um, and it didn't feel like a diet to me, so it, it made it easier. It obviously got harder as I started losing weight. You know, you have to do more, start to move. But, hey, I'm at 200 pounds loss, so we'll take it. Um, let's see. I'm going to show some of my skin just so that I can kind of have a video of it, because I know you've seen the pictures probably, but seeing it in its full glory as it is, like, moving, you just, you can't get the full appreciation unless you see it. Um, I'll show my arms, which obviously I'm not getting fixed right now, but I have a little bit of a gun, like a baby gun, so I feel like I'll show you that. Um, this looks terrible. However, look at this muscle, and if you just really move that skin. I can mess somebody up with that arm. Um, but as far as my breasts, I know people would probably think that that's just cosmetic. However, I used to have very large breasts and I quite literally have no tissue left. So this is just that. 
So those those bad boys are getting done too. I mean, if you're going big, you might as well go big, right? Not big boobs, but you know, both surgeries. Um, and the, I'll show you my stomach now. And hopefully this doesn't turn into like a full-on strip show. I guess I'll move back here. This is my stomach. This bad boy right here. Can pick it up, move it, jiggle it, shake it. It's disgusting. But it is definitely way better than who I was before. I mean, it's just, it's almost, it feels like it's not really a part of me. It's just kind of here and it's attached and it's, it, it doesn't feel like me if that makes any sort of sense. Um, my back really isn't bad. So luckily we don't have to do anything with that. And this butt's, you know, still doing its thing. Obviously I showed my thighs in the, the picture, but really once this is gone and I can just be kind of a normal person, that's what I'm mostly excited about. So we'll see. But yeah, getting excited for the surgery. Um, you know, losing weight is really hard. It really is. Staying losing weight is is extra hard. I plan to, to meal prep some stuff before I have surgery so my husband doesn't have to stress out because he works nights. So typically we don't eat together unless it's on his day off and I have the same day off. Um, however, I'm going to have a lot of days off pretty soon here, so we'll see how that plays out. But... Um, I feel like he's going to be home taking care of me for the first five days, so if I can have things in the fridge labeled, you know, so many smart points, I can just say, hey, heat me up this, or whatever, and, you know, I'll have a lot more success that way, I think. So, thank you to everyone who supported me. I love you guys. Honestly, I did not realize, like, how many good people were in my life. And people I don't even know have donated, and it's just like, it's really amazing, and I appreciate it, because I could not have done this without the help. And I did put a lot on credit cards, so, you know, we'll figure that out as we go. But I am so grateful um, to my friends and family, and people that have become friends, and my Weight Watcher family. Um, this has been a long journey, it's an emotional one, and... I'm so glad to be doing it, and I'm so glad there's other people out there, and people have really helped me along the way. And my leader, Cindy, God said, she's truly one of the most amazing people in my life. <laughs> Anyways, um, sorry for crying, I'm an emotional, my friends always, I'm like the old lady because I go to bed early, and I'm an emotional train wreck. <laughs> so, but it is an emotional thing, so. Thank you so much, and um, I'll update with pictures after the surgery, once I'm feeling a little better, maybe do some videos as I'm healing. Um, but anyways, thank you. I love you.